Ryan, what did you think of uh, the vanishing of Ethan Carter? Uh, did you finish it? I did. I did not think it was a good game. At I all. didn't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> I had such hopes for it. Well, so and it just got like weirder and weirder. Are we and then, like, live? Finally, we, yeah, we just went live. Okay. <laughs> I don't, so I will, I'll refrain from Hi. telling any spoilers. And then but your hope vanished. Hello. The uh, the way that story is written and sort of the um. The conclusion is basically rule number one of never do this in a story. Yeah. Uh, my creative writing teacher in college was like, don't ever do this shit. Like, That's not cool. No, it's not. It was so. totally like, it felt very lost. Yeah. And then I felt for a long time like, I can't wait to find out what's going on. Yeah. And then I found out what was going on and I wanted to put a bullet in the Oh, so you're talking about Lost the TV show. Yes. Yes. Yeah, see, I, just okay. was, I thought yeah. that's what you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Like, you need, like, like Lost, the, like, it doesn't know where it's going. The critically acclaimed, yeah. like, you know. <laughs> the whole time leading up to the end of Lost, you're like, we're not doing purgatory. It's yeah. not going to be purgatory. It's not, pur it's totally purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! I was, I was, gotcha! I was the the, okay, was the true believer, too. Everyone during that last season was like, I don't know where it's going. Yeah. And I was like, no, guys, they're really going to do it. Just just well, hang, just, hang in there. Uh -huh. And they, they, then they did. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, people, in people, there. people at our game studio we were working at were, were staying after work to just watch on the huge TV we had. Uh -huh. And you could see like their morale dropping as they got close <laughs> to the end of the season because they were starting, they were like his, like his friends like, I don't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I'm actually watching, uh, re-watching this series with a girlfriend and we made it to uh, season five mm -hmm. and like literally every time she's like, let's watch Lost. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't do this again. It's so bad. <laughs> don't make me use suffer through that again. Bacon Town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Bacon Town. Whoa. <laughs> Stream. Come back to Bacon. Stream. <clears throat> um, yeah. Hello, did you bring your stuff? No. Nope. Yeah. Did All you? Right. Awesome. <clears throat> you gonna get it to me tomorrow? Uh, mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> um, Secrets. I'm gonna do to swing by after this. There. I guess I I'm just gonna, yeah. Mysteries. I'm just gonna I'm leave, leave this there. right here. Yeah. Oh man, what a bragger. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a Monster Hunter? Yeah, it's a new 3DS. Nice. So, but not the Check it out, guys. Nice. Bill's got an Amazon.com account. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't. Oh, that's, right. that's how you know it's, it's, yeah. It's a GameStop exclusive. Nintendo yeah. just oh, looks like was. new in front of all totally their cool shit out. and like, Power that's the, the next Yeah. <laughs> well, except yeah. they failed with the Wii U. They maybe, called it new Wii. maybe it was lost in translation. It was supposed to be new Wii and went to Wii U. <laughs> maybe we knew. We knew. We knew. Yeah. We, we knew, knew your gonna happen. We, your Wii. <laughs> we knew it was too soon to put out another system. Uh, I don't think they ever know that. <laughs> so what happened last time, guys? Mm, oh, I don't remember that. Last time we infiltrated a party, mm -hmm. and we. Uh, we got a bunch got of artifact slapped. loot, and you need to hand it to us. I don't think that's that to no. pass that out. We got to wear masks. Yep. Yep. We started another fire, and yet another uh, place we were Brendan at. Brendan and I did a little extra role playing after you guys left. Oh, just... it was mostly just slapping. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so we overheard some interesting things, killed Morton Dyer, and then made a run for it. So we're gonna cool. go to the Coliseum. Right to stop a evil king from being raised from. Hmm. Well, first we gotta get in king. touch with our contacts. I think to tell them what happened. Well, I believe we ended with you guys fleeing into the night. Yes. yes. Um, I'm not so sure fleeing is the right word. <laughs> Scampering, <laughs> absconding into the night. I, I, will say, I think we, we were victorious in our mission and left. So we marching into the with night. With such victory. Starting into sure. the night. Yes. <laughs> Loudly proclaiming your victory. <laughs> yeah. for those that we him. killed Mark. I like that better. It's all about perspective. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so were you guys going back to the inn or back to the Veiled Alliance headquarters? Or somewhere else entirely? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> are you looking up the archive of what happened last time? Yeah. 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 The archive of like one minute ago. Oh yeah. man. This is getting meta. <laughs> Can we have a stream uh, within we, the stream? Within do we the stream? know the way back to the the place on our own, or do we? I yes, we you guys have been back there been, okay, uh, okay. enough times. That you've right. riddled out the route. <laughs> it's not like they put um, bags over your head or something like that. What time is it by now? Like, uh, so midnight? you guys left like around like midnight thirty. Mm -hmm. 
which is 12.30 in dark sun time. It's, we should probably go to the headquarters. We, I don't remember if we got a specific time for when this thing was going to go down. <clears throat> Sometime tomorrow, uh, I mean, tomorrow is when it, I think it was. I don't think we had a specific time. I think it may even have been as vague as tomorrow will be his last day on the throne or something like that, which, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was something about a coliseum, right? The, the, the arena. Was... The arena was mentioned, yeah. The arena, yes. Okay. But we don't know in what context. No, we, we have very little context. <laughs> we should probably we figure out what's going on in the arena tomorrow. We killed the only guy. <laughs> like, I mean, might have had presumably there's some big event there. My bad, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, it's like, so. maybe if it's the crowning of the king or, you know, something like that. As a matter of fact, as you guys are wandering the streets, it seems as though there's decorations going up. There's uh, peasant folk uh, up far later than they usually are, actually, oh. putting streamers and flyers and... Uh, Flowers up in bundles around the streets. Well, I would I would like to approach one of said peasants. All right. And uh, stand back and making sure he notices me. And I, those are fantastic direct uh, decorations. Those are just quite simply lovely. Huh. Works work. Yeah. Are you so you excited for the big day tomorrow? Uh. Up this late, I'll probably sleep through most of the festivities, but... Oh no, but you can't miss this festivities. I mean, how long has it been since we saw one of these? Uh, I, I don't... I don't have my calendar right with me, but I, I reckon one year exactly to the day. <laughs> one uh, year, yes, one year. <laughs> and you're gonna be sleeping during this day. Well, I'm up at midnight 30. Okay. I'm excited to see the Heavy king. sleeper I am. Need my eight hours. I'm excited to see the king in attendance. Oh, yes, yes. He'll be uh, having a, a right splendid time presiding over uh -huh. everything. Great yes. anniversary for him. So oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I do I do want to thank you for your work, and I'm going to hand him a, a silver piece oh. as a, a fantastic oh. job. <laughs> much, much obliged, my lord. Thank oh. you, sir. Thank you. I'm Here, have a flower for the road, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna approach. I don't have a flower to hand out. I'm sorry. I'm probably I'm gonna approach and, uh, my immersion. Ah! My immersion. <laughs> broken. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna address uh, Marvin. So what is going on tomorrow, after all? Well, it sounds like it's the king's anniversary. He'll be presiding. That's the word he used over the event. So presumably he's the kind of the the main event. I thought it was Dark Sun Miss. What? Dark Sun Year? Dark Sun Miss? Dark Sun Easter? Mm hmm. Dark Sunster? Yes. Someone else, please say something. Uh, <laughs> also, Dark Sun I gave <laughs> silver. I'm gonna need that money back from someone. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> yeah, Knight, yeah. Can Andoria take a history check to see if he knows what tomorrow is? Certainly. <laughs> Uh, natural 20. Natural 20? <laughs> I know everything that tomorrow <laughs> right. is in yes. every culture. <laughs> fan, fan of the uh, Tyrion Veiled Alliance that you are, you happen to know that uh, today, that is uh, the day beginning at midnight, is the 11 year anniversary of the murder of King Kalak, and so the ascension of King Tithian. And it's traditionally celebrated with the recreation of the arena battle that led to uh, King Kalak's assassination. Of course, how could I have forgotten? It's the anniversary of King Kalak's assassination. Yes, yeah, so I said as much. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> you sure it's not Dirk Sunaween? What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not how much did you drink at the party? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Should never put that woman. Are you still a spider? No. no. <laughs> it, I mean, I assume that shut you up. I assume it's been more than an hour. Uh, as much as I would like, sure. as much as I'd like to return directly to our friends, who knows what sort of traps are active when we haven't been invited. We may have to go back to the inn and wait for the normal methods, or we can try going back, but to the Veil vale Alliance. I don't know that going back and involving them buys us anything. I think we need to tell them, because they're the ones most set up in this town, and they're the ones most likely able to stop whatever they plan to do. They may also have a way of speaking with the king and at least warning him. We certainly can't do that. Do you think that the king and his pomp, his righteousness, is going to heed any such warning? Would you like the king to be in your debt? <laughs> now you're speaking his language. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea. They did, after all, help in putting him on that throne. He should at least be willing to listen to them. I think that your 
intent is, is noble, though I question constantly involving this haphazard group of magic wannabes in our affairs has never really turned out in our favor. I don't know if I would agree with all of that, though I certainly understand some of the sentiment. Still. But whatever you think is best is... Yeah, those crazy people with magic, you can't trust them. <laughs> what is your inside like? <laughs> is it an eight? It's ten. Oh, it's ten. It's ten. So I have the lowest intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> that has become very clear <laughs> through this whole campaign. <laughs> He's playing his character. <laughs> All right. Well, got big plans for him. Yeah, <laughs> Marvin has big plans for Marvin. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get a foot massage. <laughs> well, let's Some go. Grapes. Let's go back to the inn and hope we can make contact very quickly then. Yeah. Certainly. All right, we head back <clears throat> and send a message through the usual channels. Ah, Brim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he of course, uh, midnight thirty is a patron, not the bartender. He works the morning shift. On the off days, right. so name. he is good and drunk. <laughs> Never mind. Let's, let's, let's take our chances. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh. He leaves us. Uh, Antoria leaves us over on the table. Have another few rounds. Oh. Good, good night. <laughs> just completely backed out of your plans because I don't want to deal with this right now. Have you met in Tori? He's like, no. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll go see if we can get in on our own. We're heading. We well, head there unless someone objects. <laughs> well, going to their headquarters. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was about to say we should do that anyway. All right. You guys wander into Bacon Town and uh, yes. thread your way back to the ruined <laughs> temple that serves as the Vale Alliance's headquarters. Romalia is uh, up. She's at the clearing where the large tree is uh, uh, stationed. And she's studying that map that you uh, handed off to her before you left the party. Hello. You're back. One... Oh, oh my goodness, she's looking at her clothes. Splattered in blood. <laughs> Wait, what Wait happened? A now, are they all splattered in blood? Of course. My Someone life. died. There was a geyser of blood. <laughs> it's like Dragon Age, man. I'm Please. the only one that squeaked mm-hmm. clean out of the whole group. Are you? He was, he was shape-shifted. It oh, was sure, and you're sure, naked sure. now. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess my cape would be splattered. Yes, you wore your cape <laughs> as a bear. And as a spider. Yeah. Which yeah. Known and my do. wreath. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, keen-eyed as Romalia is, she spotted the blood on your cape and wreath. <laughs> my goodness, even you! <laughs> what happened? We well, went to the party. Yeah, we went to the party, and that guy who was a problem and a thorn on your side is no longer going to be a problem or a thorn in your side. <laughs> He's dead now. You might want to <laughs> specify which. There were a few possible oh, options. Oh, true. Um, what was his name again? Uh, Martin Dyer. Mm. He's now dead. She coughs a chunk of pizza caught in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> dead? What on earth happened? Well, um, we overheard um, a plot to kill the king tomorrow. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No. It sounds like you just made that up. I didn't, but um, I was trying to get around to the part where we got caught overhearing the plot. Caught? And that's why we killed him. <laughs> mm. So you're telling me that anyone that discovered your presence there is dead? With no. one question. Did we know There's the, one exception. Did, did we notice the minstrel seeing us go behind the door? Someone did. I can't remember who it was. Okay. Can we assume that's whoever saw it <laughs> told us, or do we even know who told us? Well, it depends very heavily on yeah. I'm it pretty was. sure our <laughs> friend... Some people share information and some do I'm yeah. pretty sure our friend, the Avatar of Storms, could put two and two together. Because he knew we were there. You no, know, what it was, someone was like super clunky in trying to get through. Yeah. Yes. And the and minstrel then, turned and... A minstrel yes. turned and saw us and didn't oh, say anything. But I don't remember who that was. Yeah. I want to think it might have been you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, oh. I had a bad dance check. As far as that. we know, no one spotted us, and no one saw us do the deed for sure. Mm. But uh, we did run into our friend, the Avatar of Storms, again. Who, uh, um, what was his name again? <laughs> Rahad. Rahad, and he is in league with this guy, and they were putting this plot together. And he left with some other. Uh, I guess we don't know who else was exactly involved mm. in the meeting since we were listening mm. through the door. But um, it's not completely he, true. Oh, is it? That's all I'll say on the matter. 
<clears throat> I thought we did we hear any other voices? Just theirs? Just those two? I'm trying to recall. <laughs> It was two weeks ago. <clears throat> Give me a break. It was two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. It was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. The memory. It's not Why am I the only one talking? Someone else talk now. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Man. <laughs> well, whatever the cause or the event, the snake's head has been cut off. It's a great victory mm -hmm. that Morton Dyer has been slain. But this talk of a plot to kill the king. Yes. If ever there was a day to kill the king, it would be this day. Surely you know that it's the anniversary of the assassination of King Kalak. Mm -hmm. And the, all we know is that for sure they have some plans involving the arena. Mm, yes, that's where we would do it. Heck, that's where we did do it. I don't know <laughs> if you've heard, but it was the Veil of Alliance, so I'm sorry, I'm boasting. <clears throat> well, my goodness, you've had quite a night. You, you must rest here. Hmm. Cool. All right. Tori is standing off a little, shaking his head and muttering to himself. He finally looks up and says, hold on a moment. Something's been bothering me about this whole setup here. Mm -hmm. So we found the invitation to this party among Rahad's things in the mansion, which he escaped. He knew we had that. We go to the party. He makes a point of identifying himself to you, makes a point of mentioning to both of us that he's there on business, then wanders off through a hallway and has a very important conversation about the arena tomorrow and, and the king and then teleports away instead of walking back out and not running into us. I don't know. I feel like this might be a setup of some sort. Well, there is one thing that we know that we're pretty sure he doesn't know, and that's who we're affiliated with. Did we ever tell him? We've never told him, but he did indicate that he isn't necessarily affiliated directly with the true. Remember, he called them cowards and terrorists. Well, we know he's using them at the very least. I think he just used them up. I, I theorize he may have used us to get rid of his connection to them. No longer needing them. If his plans are coming to their end tomorrow, he may not want to pay whatever debt he has to the true. If, if the snake's head has truly been cut off, they're in no position to make demands of Well, you think he's going to try and make a power grab or something? <laughs> That's the true problem. Even if everything I say is true, we don't have enough information to do much else. Even if the arena was just some kind of false lure, what else could we do? Do we have any other information about these people at all? And, um, uh, and, he, and Toria looks to Romalia. A group of black hoods associated with the storm. Some plot against the king. Has the Alliance heard anything? She looks troubled. No, I've heard, never heard of a group like that before. We've heard rumors of mysterious figures in the city, but little else. For that matter, the black hooded figures at the party is a, another strange fact in this. Why were they there? Just to draw attention to themselves? I mean, going to a masquerade party wearing... Hoods. It's almost like, hey, notice me. I'm suspicious. How far away is the lich? He is about one day away. A little <laughs> more than now. Yeah, that's a little convenient. For that matter, it's interesting. <laughs> Didn't you say he mentioned Jarnath by name? Yeah. That's, that's what name. I was just thinking, too. Maybe he somehow has a tie to, to Yarnath as well. Hmm. But he spoke of moving up his timetable as a result. Still, if we were meant to hear the things behind the door, then that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I think the only thing I believe about what we heard behind the door for sure is that whatever's happening, it's happening tomorrow. I just wish we had a different source of information. When is this event that happens tomorrow to celebrate King Kalog's, Kalad's death? Do you know when it starts? King uh, Kellogg. Kalak, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's an arena battle, so it will start at noon sharp. That doesn't leave us much time, especially since we probably should rest before anything. Though... If we were going to find out something about a secret group, we are pretty close to the right part of the city. Do you think there's any chance we could investigate around here and see if anyone has heard of these things? Do you have any contacts we could ask at this hour? Yeah, so I was going to ask, would I, would I know of anybody that in this general vicinity that might have the, the scoop on... I think uh, short of knowing someone in particular, you could probably dig up some kind of information if there's information to be had. I think I could do some scrounging get us some information. I don't know how much. I don't have any money in particular, but... I'm surprised the Veiled Alliance doesn't have better contacts are than you us. <laughs> <laughs> with, the with the resources stretched as thin as they are, it's they probably... They are still rooted in the city. It's probably all they could do to defend themselves and keep tabs on the true. I'm surprised they even Remind have this. Vigorously. Something else, too. This fellow at the mansion, he summoned an air elemental, but he did it directly. He didn't do it with the aid of a tool. He may, be well, he may well be the source of the air elemental, so... Summoning artifact they used before. 
Mm. That would explain... Yes, the True didn't have magical connections of some kind until very recently. If this black hooded group is supplying them with something, that could well uh, prove the connection. And it would explain partially why he wants to be rid of them. Such things are not easy to make for anyone, mm. and probably in limited supply. If he has everything he needs from them, finishing them off would be the correct move. Indeed. Alright, let's see if we can find out something. We don't have long. Say, do you think three hours will be enough? I think three hours will be pl plenty. Should any of us come with you? Um, I think I would like Antoria and Marcus to join me, if they're willing. I'm certainly willing. I'm pretty <clears throat> tired. <laughs> 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 but all right. All right. Uh, point of order, you're all still wearing your masquerade guard. Would it need to like, change before you go outside? Yes. 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 It, it will yes. change. Please, God. Change to yes. back to your quarters. Change back to your regular <laughs> outfits. Shivaram thrums in the corner. Yeah, how's the party? <laughs> Crappy. Oh, glad I didn't go. <laughs> he comes in dressed in blood. I think. <laughs> <laughs> probably be a, wait a, a little minute. more yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> hey, wait a minute, you're what dressed in blood. What you aren't you telling me? That was him, right? You made him explode. Right? I did make him explode. He's like, there was a lot down. of blood. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I did not mean to. It's the kind of you, throat stab where first his throat turns into a geyser, but then his hands pop off. Oh, like, <laughs> like a loose Throws. hose. You like walk in smelling of blood and smoke and burning and, <laughs> and spider web somewhere. Spider web. He's yeah. like, so how's the party? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Quite the party. But, All right, and then uh, what's going on? Sorry. Oh, ahead. sorry. Before we set out, uh, Antoria goes back to Ramala. One question I did have: How yes. good is the alliance's connections with the king? If you got a message to him, would he be would he heed you at all? Uh, we would probably be able to get a message to him, but whether he would listen or not is dubious. Do you he can barely. He certainly does acknowledge our uh, assistance in public. Went to hell with him. If the plot is only against him and has nothing to do with the sorcerer king, what happens happens. That is so. I will say that Tidian, for that's the name of the king, uh, okay. Tidian, uh, for all his vice, he is a stabilizing element. The people love him, and he's mm -hmm. certainly a far cry better than Kalak. Well, no. I, oh, yeah. I said if it doesn't involve the sorcerer king coming back, then what happens to him isn't uh, necessarily certainly. a high concern. But. Indeed, indeed. Although having the king killed one day before a lich arrives may complicate the defense of the city. Certainly. We may have to defend him even if he isn't a friend. Anyway, we need to find out what's going on. We'll see if we can take care of that. Okay. I'm the only one who doesn't think regicide's a good idea. <laughs> yes. Well, point of order. You're not, you wasn't saying kill it, uh, kill him ourselves. You're just saying, <laughs> eh, doesn't care. We've been here a month. We don't care who rules. I want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Brown wants to kill everybody. Especially we'll just, you. <laughs> we'll, just get, we'll just get him to be vaguely surly to you, and then you'll suggest throwing a fireball at him, and we'll all be in That's agreement. Yeah, then. yeah. <laughs> Plenty. Just make him serve me drinks in a rude manner. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, what was up with that? Jeez. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. What? <laughs> no, I mean you. Like, his life is his own, man. Sometimes people still have bad days. Well, that's what, Especially no, when no. forced to wear fake money. I didn't. <laughs> arms and for the record, I didn't say to like burn him or kill him. I don't know. <laughs> no, just, just have, light a fire near him. The words that I heard near third level were spell. burn him or kill him. <laughs> yeah. Just launch a third level attack spell at him. It'll be fine. Actually, yeah. exactly. I'm pretty Civilians sure. Have plenty of hit points. Pretty sure all you heard out of me at the time was. <laughs> 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 no, your spell had worn off. You had shifted. Yeah, that's why you were talking. Anyway, indeed, I need more excuses. So let's move on. Yes. All right. <laughs> so you guys are going out to gather information. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try our luck with the. Uh, I know some of the seedier elements, I guess. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna prowl around here in the Warrens, I assume. Yes. Bacon Town. Bacon Town. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what what kind of uh, what kind of activities are you gonna engage in or to dig up some info? Um. I guess I'll start with one of the better, like, if, you know, any of the better known areas that I know uh, that so I've probably... that be the market? <laughs> um, and... See, there's no real way, I mean, there's no real way to gauge just by looking whether or not there, you know. So... Whether or not you know what, sorry? Whether or not they, I know they have any, any kind of information or if they would, you know... Where do you think your best chance would be? 
See, that's the thing. It's a big cliche, perhaps, but a tavern or, or something like that. A place where people gather for meals. It's the only thing I can think of. Is there any, like, like in the Elven Market, is there any, you know, kind of like backroom gambling dens and or, how? you know? It's like around every corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's maybe start there. Some place, you know, with a high congregation. Okay, you guys descend uh, into the warrens towards the Elven Markets. And even at this hour, it's crowded, it's busy. Uh, perhaps on account of the fact that there's a festival tomorrow. People are taking it uh, as an opportunity to get out and engage. There's certainly no decorations here. No one's going to take the time to string uh, flags around the ghetto. But uh, uh, there's certainly lots of people out, uh, lots and lots of merchants selling this or that. Uh, and there's plenty of dives around, as it were, lots of places that are more than happy to take your ceramics uh, for drink, for gambling, for a little bit of both. I guess we'll go to the first one that we see. Okay. So you guys plunge in, and everyone sort of gives you a look as you come in. And I goes give back you to their business. Back. <laughs> Ooh. No, no one takes you up on your tired-eyed <laughs> squint. You look, you look contest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, he looks sleepy. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. Pull out. Oh, oh. Is okay? <laughs> Polo. 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 Come here, Polo. Come here, come on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Polo. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think it's okay. Kurt, come here. Polo, sorry about that. Polo. <laughs> okay, I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can stay. All right, all right. Into awesome. the stream, uh, <laughs> Brendan's getting his AC repaired. <laughs> oh, it's gonna help. <laughs> yep. See, I'm Fox, and he's Hound, and that's the name of the stream. Polo, <laughs> say hi to the stream. Oh, we're on both cameras. Fuck. <laughs> All right, Polo is now in charge of the game. Uh, <laughs> oh, Polo's no. a new DM. <laughs> We're doomed. Oh. All right, give him your commands. He's going to be right, uh, <laughs> Give <like> us... <laughs> <laughs> give us all the loot. <laughs> yeah, so give us artifacts. Yeah, just roll initiative. For AC Magical repairman. Equipment, please. Okay, so um, looking around, what do we? What do I see? What there's see? a bar. There's a bartender. There are some tables of folk engaged in shady dealings. There's plenty of people that are getting rowdy. Mm, sort of your typical back alley kind of bar. Uh, I guess approach the bar. All right, you're not there. <laughs> yeah, I was I'm not there. Either, so. <laughs> so you get left behind. Oh, yeah, the two know. of us did. Yeah. Oh, man. We're, we're we're gonna, like, I'm actually going to study the tree in the uh, fantabulous garden area they have there. Well. into a bear so I can pet you. <laughs> <laughs> and so we can make bear puns. <laughs> I'm too busy studying a tree. You can study a tree as a bear. Marvin, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I don't need to sleep. So I guess I, guess right. I need to tr go drink. <laughs> <laughs> He's also going to go to a bar. Not the bar that they're going to, though. Not I think we should roll for a down. chance for it to just and happen I, to be the I same bar. If I see them, I'm going to walk out. <laughs> well, they're like uh, 20 or 30 Go minutes to the away. ghetto, right? Well, you're in yeah, the, we're in the, the ghetto. I'm going to the nice we're place. We're in the nice part of town. Okay. okay. It's going to be a bit of a hike. That's okay. All right. You start on your hike. I mean, we're not talking about like two-day hike. No, like, no. For like an hour. <laughs> yeah. No, you're really far away from the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's nowhere nice in Dark Yeah, it's Bacon Town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, what, uh, what, what kind of deals going on, going down between you and this bartender, Zathus? Are you trying to gather some information of some kind? Yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, slap a copper, is it a, is it a, it's a ceramic piece. Well, yeah, ceramic piece. A bit. Yeah. A bit, yeah. A bit. Uh, on the bar and say, uh, whatever, pint of <laughs> ale. <laughs> Pine well, I don't know what, what I don't know what the measurements are like you know jar of ale it's oh, pint. Pint, is fine. pint yeah, yeah. So pint of ale whatever like all, pint like, of wine. like all good TSR settings they use the metric system <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure yeah. I want to yeah. be I want to be accurate yeah. you know 
Huh? He serves you up a, a mug. I'll says, slam down the silver and say, make it five. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you got it, big guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, conveniently picks up five pints and just hands it <laughs> <laughs> They're not they're not filled. They're Very empty. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria puts down one copper for one, please. Yeah. One milk. I turn to Antoria and Marcus and I go, to tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh wait a minute. Grand the Who's this guy? Should be, should be a, I should be a random hard out. patron. <laughs> Indeed. I've, you know, I wasn't in town 11 years ago. There's going to be a, quite a sight to see. Oh, certainly. Won't, won't be quite the same. Won't be quite the same. No, no spear through the king this time. Something, something entertaining, sir. Indeed. You're all from out of town, then. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. We get, we get quite around. Oh, certainly, certainly. Lots, lots of out of town is around here these days. Lots of out of town is. I'm sure many people have come to see the festivities, in, indeed. It's uh, quite, quite the thing. It's not every day that a city-state overthrows the sorcerer king. No, I've, I've never heard of its like myself, myself. Never heard of its like. Yeah. Well, of, I better course, of course, I don't, I don't know a whole lot more about sorcerer kings. Get, get <laughs> you some more, get you some more. What? <laughs> <laughs> Careful there. <laughs> Things are sharp. That'll do for now. How's your thing? Um, I'm not sure how to approach this. <laughs> hear about any murder attempts? <laughs> yeah, now that we got the small tag out of the way, let's get down to brass tacks. Okay. Um, Tori is actually going to look around this place a little bit. Well, he's going to stay in his seat, but he's going to kind of look around and see what's going on. Okay. In general. You're surrounded by, you know, thieves and murderers and other knaves of the sort, you know. The Elven Market near a dive past midnight. No one of obvious villainy stands out, however. Okay, no Aside from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll address the bartender and say, I'm keen on gossip. Any uh, scuttlebutt going around here? Ooh, give me a... Um, what, what do you got? What do you got? You got a... I got negative one to charisma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Should fit that's right awesome. In. <laughs> well, what about an investigation check? Ooh. Plus zero. So it's better than minus All one. All right. All right. Um, a nine. A nine. Oh, you know, it's it's chaos in the streets. Usual usual kind of business. Lots of lots of loathsome types swimming around down in under tires. It's a little, little too much traffic back and forth between there and here these days. Never, never it didn't happen back in Kalak's days. Sor Sorcerer King is a tyrant certainly, but he knew how to run his city. Traffic. What sort of traffic from under tire? No one lives down there. Uh, investigation check again? Sure. Or actually, that would, that sounds a little well. Yeah, you can give me investigation. Okay. Uh, oof. that could be great. Uh, ten total. Uh, you really are from out of town. There's plenty of swill living down there. Folks can't find a better place. I mean, look around at this place. It's crowded as all hell. Used to be slaves getting locked up in their cages at the end of the day. Now every single one of them's got to have a roof under their head. If you call it a roof. Sometimes just the top. And they go beneath the city. Oh, certainly. I mean, tunnels, temples, old buildings all over the place. Certainly lots of room for a body to lay down and go to sleep. Might not wake up again, but... What's more around the barns I was thinking? Huh. I had no idea. Ask certainly not safe, certainly not. So you, you wouldn't catch me down there, but I've got, I've got a cop in the back, so, you know, I'm one of the lucky ones. How interesting. Orders another drink and adds an extra silver to it. Hmm. No comment. Fills up. Marvin, you, uh, about 40, 50 minutes later, arrive. It's, you know, it's pretty, pretty good and late now. It's about 2 in the morning, but the Noble District is still, uh, not, not rowdy, but it's still, uh, having a good time. Yeah. You can stop into one of the more... The noble, noble bar. All right. Stop into a uh, very clean, very classily oh, lit. Nice. There's candles everywhere. Do I look, There's... Did you change out of your yeah, yeah. Right clothes? I, do I look out of place? Or... Um, so what are you wearing? Did you... Don't they have like a purple robe or something? Um, yeah, well, you're the one that would if, know. So <laughs> if you... 
I don't think I've written it down, but I thought we had like a row. It was had, a like, toga, but yeah. it was like white, wasn't well, we've it? Got... No, it wasn't white. Oh, okay. Um, it was probably purple. Tyre's right. actually known for its purple dye. So oh, that it's, makes sense. Certainly a, a... So I, lo I look like I fit the part. Oh, uh, you're blue. You're blue and purple. <laughs> <laughs> and you're half elven. Half elves are, you know, not nice. generally the, no the nobility, but... Uh, it will make an exception for my case. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to walk off. They might not be able to pin uh, you as being, yeah. uh, so uh, the, being blue. Your, your, your arrival certainly draws quite a number of stairs. There's I'm looking for... Lots of beautiful people just sort of... Oh, I'm looking for a table oh. that has a lot of women. <laughs> there <laughs> are... It's not for what you think. There's several <laughs> to choose from. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... I would like to sit down at one of them. All right. And uh, their conversation grows quiet, and they simply stop and look, not staring, not saying anything, just looking. All right. I would. I would turn to the one next happen. to me and flash her a smile, specifically using. Um, scepter. Well, yeah, I have a scepter <laughs> in my hand because, like, hey, baby, you see my scepter? Yeah. No. Um, she and specifically has a using, I guess, persuasion. Okay. And uh, ask, say, buy me a drink. Give me a perception or er, persuasion check. Fifteen. She doesn't say anything, but she raises a finger, and the uh, very, very uh, muscular-looking uh, serving boy saunters over and hands you a flagon of wine. All right. It's getting weird. <laughs> uh, so um. I will, I will thank her and say, uh, Very well. spent all day down in the lower district. Oh, I hate that place. It's full of, full of filthy never been. Oh, I, God, hopefully you never are. It's bacon everywhere. <laughs> it's terrible. You know, the charlatans and concubines and, <sighs> and oh, seedy individuals, they... I, I had the misfortune of stopping into a bar. Not as beautiful ladies as you, and the bartender had some of those watered-down ale. Some of the other ladies start whispering amongst themselves on the other side of the table. That's fine. They can keep talking. All right. <laughs> um, but, you know, the, <laughs> thing, that stuck out, the thing that stuck out in, in my head the most mm -hmm. was the stories they were telling. Mm. Mm. They kept going on, saying that the uh, there's some like festival going on tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? Now, don't tell anyone, but I heard the king may be murdered, and I... This is all of the ladies at the table, you know? The, 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 you know, the audacity of those lowlifes to speak such a thing, but, you know, in here and here, no one knows who's safe. Where, where on earth would you hear such a thing? Like I said, just the seedy underbelly of this town. Pay no heed to it. It's probably just some low life stalking. But no, no, no. Surely. I found it very interesting. We we must warn him. Oh well, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Marvin is awesome. Wait, what? Yes, yes he is. <laughs> don't, certainly don't spread it around town or anything. Like oh. keep this on the DL. You know, this is between friends. Oh, <laughs> on the DL. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Yes. Your secret is safe with me. Yes. Anyway. Another. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the dive. <laughs> um, Zayseth would like to lean into the to the bartender real kind of kind of close, oh, like. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, hello. What if, say, someone wasn't interested in the king surviving tomorrow? Beg, beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> Let's just say I didn't say that. I mean, this you see this dagger I've got here. <laughs> Let's just say if somebody was maybe planning on making the uh, celebration not really a reenactment. Hey, I, I think I think you're talking to the wrong fella, chief. You have you haven't heard anything. Saunters on down at the other end of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Give me another four. Oh, Silver. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paying customer, always welcome. Um, Need more in music. I, <laughs> yes. I turned into where I go. Well, that didn't work out. Of 
Hold on, another one, please. Mm, certainly, certainly. I wanted to ask you something. Please, you said you, ha you haven't finished the last one. That's almost finished. I'll finish it. Ah, all right, well, all right. That certainly does happen often, <laughs> traveling with him. It's, you know, good product. Don't want to waste. I'm just understood, sir. You said that there was new traffic recently from Undertale, though, that was troubling you in some way. Mm, yes. And would you care to elaborate? I'm most curious about the fact that people live under the city. I've never encountered such a thing before. Give me a persuasion or diplomacy check. Okay. Well, he's talking. I'm going to wander away from the bar. Okay. Uh, six. Hmm, yes, yes. All, all, all sorts of folks down there. Not, not very safe. Slides five gold over. You sounded more specific than that earlier. Mm, yes, yes. There's a uh, strange, strange folks skulking around looking for spaces in Undertale I hadn't been seen before. Places of, I don't know, a ancient sorts. Hmm. Not, not, not really too too particular on the, the hows and the whys, but <coughs> always looking to excavate. Places you don't go. There's dangerous things down there. Places so. the old king ordered sealed off. Most interesting. These figures, were they hooded by chance? Oh. Why, why, as a matter of fact, they were. All of them, all, all sorts of shapes and sizes, but all, all wearing the same thing. Very peculiar, very peculiar. Stood out like it was a uniform or something. I couldn't see their faces, though. Hmm. Hey, you, you, you wander in with that fella there. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh, he's crazy. Don't. Oh. Yeah. So he, that he's not going to do anything dangerous tomorrow. He's talking some, something about the king. That's, that's dangerous work there. King. What king is ever entirely popular? People mm. in their cups will say any sort of nonsense. Oh, good point, good point. Well, keeping him in, in the cups is good business. So if he wanders off saying dangerous stuff and he's still buying. All the good, all the good for me. How recently did these fellows start showing up anyway? Mm. Mm. Memory's a bit fuzzy on that one. Three of slides. <laughs> five more, five yeah, more gold so over. About four or five months ago, I believe, they sort of uh, started showing up in here. The, the seedy uh, bits of town. Is there any particular part of town that they are seen most often in? Well, it's getting getting into Undertire here in the Warrens. Your best bet: lots of lots of ruined buildings and tunnels and such. You you've heard of the Screaming Cellar? Of course. That's no urban legend. There's actually a cellar and there's someone screaming in there. It's terrifying. Don't go to that corner. <laughs> I, I don't recommend investigating. Very strange. Very strange. Do you know of any other entrances around here then? If you don't mm -hmm. recommend that one. There's all all sorts of ways to get into Undertire's. Uh, d difficult to make an. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure on that one. I, I don't adventure down there all too often. Hmm, I see. Then, do you know anyone else who associates with these hooded figures you've mentioned? Someone known to regularly deal with them? <clears throat> Give me another persuasion check. Right. Uh, 16. Mm. Well, I'm not the sort to. Uh, Go spreading other people's secrets now, am I? It's, you know, saying saying whether I said something to someone or someone asked me something, that's something different. But you know, ratting out ratting out a friend, that's that's no good. That's no good. A friend? Hmm. That is that is a serious problem. But it would never get back to you. I am the soul of discretion in these matters. Oh, information like that come come you know, not not especially uh, you know, not just anyone would be able to share that sort of thing with you. It's true. Takes out 20 gold, but he keeps his hand on it on the bar and looks at you. How close to special am I now? Mm. I'd, I'd say you're right on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> With a very weary expression on his face, he adds five more to it. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, it's, that's, that's, that's what we're talking about. Yes, yes, take your hand off. All right, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that I saw anything in particular, but my cousin who operates a similar sort of operation down the street says that he saw a high templar of the game sitting down with one of those hooded swords. Is that not going to argue? Uh, I think it was in okay. the garage. Sounded like out there. Yeah. Right. 
Sorry, immersion breaking. No worries. <laughs> High tempo of the games, the lady herself. Beautiful, beautiful. Stands out in a crowd. Hmm. Did, did I see the High Templar at the party? I don't remember. She was there, I'm pretty sure. Did I did I see that woman at all? Uh, you did not. Yeah, I don't think I did. So. I think I think Zethus. Yeah, I think yes, I think I know you did, but I don't think I did. So okay, that doesn't. Zethus saw her in very particular company. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that doesn't mean anything to Antoria. All right. Interesting. Is there some sign you could give us with your cousin that would tell him that we are to be trusted and he can elaborate further on such matters? Oh, he's probably sound asleep by now. I, I don't recommend rousing him at this hour. Needs eight hours. Zayn, what are you up to out in the crowd? Um, I'm looking for maybe a, a game being uh, being played. Oh man, I think I've got the game for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a Game of Thrones? No. Oh, I think I know what he's gonna get. <coughs> get my oh money for yeah, movies. we've seen this one. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Large guys. <laughs> okay. There's plenty of folk about. Most of them elves. What do we put in? I forget. Uh, just whatever. Just d6s? It doesn't or... matter. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. It's not going to actually happen. Okay. Uh, Want to play, friend? Yeah. Friendly game here. Five silver. Throws it down. You first. Six ones. Ooh. Three fives. Five fives. Ooh. Two sixes. Let's see. He pulls his cup away, and you pull your cup away. And sure enough, there are two sixes. Good game. Care for another? Certainly. This is five silver up. Throws my five silver down. Is it just the two of us? Is it just the two of us? Is it just the two of us? There's nobody else at the table? There's or? other people, but this, this is hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hard, that's a little harder to simulate. Uh, Barrett, this, Barrett, what are you up to? Uh, I'm still, I'm, like I said, I'm very curious as to this garden in the middle of nowhere and this tree that's a little unnatural. It's really just the one tree. It's yeah. built sort of in this tower shaft that is yeah. uh, a ruin. It's actually much taller than the building itself, but you remember distinctly that you can't see it from the outside of the temple. Huh. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep investigating. Yeah, I might even just like meditate for like an hour so I can get my forms back. Okay. And then, uh, if they're not, when, when did we ever say when we're going to meet that? Three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Then after an hour, I'm probably going to actually turn into a spider and <laughs> investigate the trees. Ramal goes, <laughs> 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 like verbatim. I'll just oh. try. Uh, <laughs> Zayn, give me a perception check. Perception. Let's see. Which dice do I want to use? That's my perception. I get plus four. I'm going to after. I guess I could shift back and then say, eh, don't worry, my druid. And then shift back again. 21. 21. After a few rounds, you are almost certain that he is cheating you. Hey, <laughs> friends. You're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah. I like you call it as you see it. <laughs> and I pull out my dagger. Oh, the other seven elves around the table all pull out their daggers. <laughs> I don't think I'm cheating at all. What do you think, brothers? Nope, didn't see any cheating. No cheating whatsoever. No, honest, el honest as elf that I ever met. <laughs> and, and Tori's looking over. The guy right, actually, the gonna... rest of the bar is yeah. looking over now. Yeah. As well. I would like to walk over and say, "I heard there's cheating over here." Mm, you heard wrong. Oh. Big fella. All right. Well, I'd like That's to part with it. That's an awfully nice sword you're wearing. Mm. Here, here to part with it. I've got t twenty extra silver. I can I can spare. Oh, a fine offer, but no, thank you. No. Oh. Shivaram thrums in his uh, scabbard. These are cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, you know what? Yeah, we, yeah. Okay, they're gonna. We're gonna send the AC guy okay. here tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, that was in the way. Okay, well, thanks okay. so much for taking a look. Appreciate it. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 20 silver is an awfully generous uh, 
offer, my friend. Uh, you think four game, four plays of this game is worth this sword? No, you know what, you're right. That was unreasonable of me. Fifteen silver. Ah, uh, I see. A couple of the other elves start to get up from the table. <clears throat> Toria Stoltzabar is just watching kind of in <clears throat> amazement <laughs> <laughs> at what is, what is coming up with this. <laughs> just kind of... Like... Bartender is glaring at you right now saying you promised... <laughs> I'll have you know my friend explodes people for a living. Explodes them? How, how, how is it that you explode them? I stab them. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> oh, okay, that was you saying that, not doing that. I thought you were oh, doing yeah, that. I thought you were like, I stab him. Like, <laughs> no, I, I do, I want to stab him. Oh, stab oh, him. oh with, with, my, with my short sword. All right, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please explode him. <laughs> Please explode. It should be a sneak attack. You probably <laughs> no. This is attack. I am adjacent to him. Uh, Please crit. <laughs> you may not have hit. Yet. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, Brennan, is this pizza? Yeah. Help yes. yourself. Yep. Yes. Free pizza. Take the lunch because we're having dinner. We're irresponsible. I'm irresponsible. Then. What'd you get? Twelve. Twelve. You sweep your sword across, he brings up his dagger to parry it. All of them leap to their feet and everyone starts swinging. Oh, boy. Bar fight! Everyone in the whole bar is swinging or just that? No, absolutely the, everyone. The, yeah. <laughs> bar fights are I'd like awesome. To, uh, I'd like to invoke a whirlwind attack. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me an attack. Yeah! <laughs> see here. Oh, a 20. Not natural, but 20. 20, you will uh, hit quite a number of elves. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so describe what you're doing here. You're pulling Shavram out of his sheath, I assume. Pretty much just, like, trying to cleave as many as possible. <laughs> like giving them a closer inspection of your sword. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, that's worth a lot more. <laughs> 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 Alright, give me give me some damage. You want some damage? Alright, yeah. let's see. Uh, you got 2d6 and... Oh, and the 1d4. I can re-roll 1s and 2s. Let's re-roll both of those. Be better than that. Ooh. Uh, 7, 9, I have this feeling we're going to burn down another building. <laughs> <laughs> Just have that feeling. <laughs> We, we need might to burn down yet. all the buildings we can. <laughs> yep. 13 damage. 13 damage. You behead or cleave at least four or five. <laughs> they <laughs> fall to the ground screaming. Everyone except else. the beheaded one. Say again? I assume except for the beheaded one. No, maybe I can well, they, they uh, The human head can scream for at least 11 seconds after leaving the body. <clears throat> That's scream? not true. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> you know, you're thinking blinked. of blinking. Uh, yeah, yeah, blinking I can buy. No, I need lungs. You need lungs. No, need oh, lungs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but seriously, blinking for eleven <laughs> seconds. No, I'm serious. Eleven. I think it was either eleven or seven seconds of blinking. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, say that someone uh, punches you up the side of the head. <laughs> it's difficult to tell who. You take three points of damage. It's probably Marcus in his rage. Burn! <laughs> <laughs> like the Hulk. <laughs> just starts beating you up allies. Yeah, we're the screen that we're the good guys, everybody. <laughs> Every we're time. We hey, always start with... Oh, we didn't start... You well, keep actually, saying that. Yeah, it's we never been this. true. We, we did start this one. Yep, You're sorry. just the player characters. <laughs> <laughs> I started this one. Right. <laughs> this is we're the heroes me. of this story, everybody. No. No. <laughs> no, you're just the player characters. Yeah. There are no heroes. <laughs> um... Uh, Marcus, you take from uh, various sources five points of damage. Various clubbings and um, punches, <laughs> ah! like nicks of uh, daggers thrown your way. More than a couple of people are throwing mugs and bottles. Antoria, are you up to anything? Uh, I'm holding a second level burning hands, but not casting it unless someone comes near me looking like they're going to do something. Okay, so the bartender's just sort of hiding, uh, <laughs> hiding behind stuff. Zathus, what do you got? Oh, I do, I do say to the bartender, stay down. <laughs> he doesn't seem to need <laughs> He doesn't need any coaxing on that. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh... Oh, the guy's gone. I can bring in the animals. I'm sure I'm in the midst of this bar fight still. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Still in your chair, as a matter of fact. <laughs> 
Actually, he's not gone. That's the weird part. He's sitting in his truck. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? I would Frozen like turtle. to... Um... Mm. Did I happen to... T- <laughs> <laughs> please, please don't pee. <laughs> <laughs> When you get to the end of the table, everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a terrace. <laughs> yeah. You just need to get 16 more levels so we can stand a chance. Yes. <laughs> Freya. This is... She's not... I <laughs> anyway, so um, I would like to try and grapple, uh, I guess, one of the nearer elves. Okay. The guy that was initially intimidating you uh, is still... In a, is still up and breathing. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me, give me an attack roll. Uh, that would be a. Is it just my dex mod? Yes. Twenty. You grab a hold of his uh, neck. Okay. And I pull him down to my level. Okay. And I go. You were cheating me, friend. <laughs> <laughs> but you generally make out to mean I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I uh, take back the, the silver that he got from me plus whatever he has on him. Oh, okay. Give me a um, give me a dex check to keep hold of him and, and grab that stuff. Slide of hand. You no, know, I think after what Marcus did, the stakes are way higher than a couple silver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of just take killed, his clothes. <laughs> killed, half their, <laughs> killed, killed half their family. Take, take his dice. dice. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, nine. Uh, a nine, you're able to pluck your 20 silver off the table, no problem. He's squirming in, his gr- in your grasp and not quite able to grab stuff out of his pockets. Okay. Um, and while I have him, while I still have him there, I'd be like, tell me what you know about the... <laughs> 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 tell me what you know about the plot to kill the king. <laughs> I loosen him up gently enough to speak. I don't know anything about any plot. Let me go. Are you sure? Hey, hang on. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm sure. I don't know anything. All right, then I throw him to Marcus. <laughs> Give me a strength check. <laughs> I don't literally pick him up and <laughs> I don't throw know, him. Come on. I just kind of like. <laughs> you say you stab him, and then you stab him. I'm gonna assume that you're doing things. All right. All right come on, <laughs> natural twenty. My snap got a minus one to strength. I was like, hold my sword, so like, as he throws him, <laughs> yeah. skewer. Meanwhile, there's bottles ricocheting off Ooh. your shoulders. Nine. Nine. All right, you sort of throw him uh, onto the table. We're not going to sell some sort of chicken wire on you. You just walk around. Chicken wire? Yeah. He blocks the bottles from hitting you. No. <laughs> it's like a shark person. <laughs> it's okay, the bottles do nothing. What, what are you doing, Marcus? Uh, what is left? Like, there's like 20 or 30 angry patrons. Also, like, there's a building throwing, still standing. Th- throw, <laughs> throwing fists. The story is probably on that one. It's like a matter of time. <laughs> some, some, so, some of them are taking the opportunity to rob each other, but more than a few of them are standing up for the regulars that are now murdered. <laughs> I'll just hold my ground. If any approach, then I'd like to attack them, but okay. I'd like to generally stay near Zapis and just kind of. Okay. Four or five guys rush up to you. All right. All right. Whirlwind! All right. (laughs) Spin to win. (laughs) What is everyone's alignment? Another 20. Another 20. (laughs) Forgot to shut the Give me some damage. It's the only thing missing here. (laughs) Demacia. Let's see him. Um, Six, eleven... 14, uh, 15 this time. 15. So as you're whirling around, you're pretty sure you hear Shervron going, Woo! <laughs> as you tear well, straight through people. just a sword, most, for that matter. So, some of their uh, shoulders and chests just fall off of their bodies. So there's blood just geysering everywhere. You're basically painted in the stuff. And by now, there's like 10 or 12 dead people just surrounding <laughs> you in various states of moaning and groaning. <laughs> now, now people are a little less what? less likely, it seems, to, to, to want to get into a pitch fight with you. Some of them toss a bottle or a mug, but they, they, they seem to stand their ground. What was your alignment? <laughs> what was? Bar- yeah, what was uh, your alignment? Bartender uh, bats you on the, uh, on the shoulder, and he shoves the pile of gold back towards you and says, Please, please, just... Get out of here! Go! Go! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, one moment. <laughs> Let me readjust the total. <laughs> the important thing is you have to do a counting first. Yes. Quit counting it! It's all there! <laughs> Just get your friends and leave! Get back down behind the bar. I'll take care of it. <sighs> Lights the building on fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's not what I asked you to do at all! <laughs> hey, now, hold on. Him saying, him saying it can be him doing things. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Making like, you, still have, you still have the gems, I do right? still have the gems. <laughs> He's got a few of those left. I will we'll see We'll see how I feel when I'm, as I'm walking out. Is it my out. turn again? <laughs> yes. All right, first I will cast a message with sleight of hand. Uh, I didn't sleight of hand it too well, but hopefully no one cares. It's uh, uh, No one's paying you any attention. Good. Um, voice pops in your head. We should get going now, if that's possible. You have uh, you can respond on your next turn with a with the bonus action. I think. He's also like ten feet away. You could just yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and then I said, and then I turned to the bartender and say hurriedly, "Look, those black hooded folks are going to kill the king. We came here for information. Do you know anything else?" <sighs> T Tithian's big on ceremony, so he'll be sitting where Kalak you'd usually sit. Uh, High, High Templar would be right with him. If it's the king you'd worry about, uh, take a look at that box. See, see who all's n near him. Thank you. We'll be leaving immediately. And Did you just put more gold in the No, I just knocked on the bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For emphasis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get a mop! All right, Antorius stands up, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm done for the turn, but I, I can't move or anything. I did enough already. No, I mean, if you... Oh, I guess, I can, is the door, is... path of the door clear-ish? Yeah, I mean, there's not even a door on the place. No, oh, good, it's I'm... kind of... I, like I will exit. It's like an alley with a roof on it. I'll go ahead and exit then. No, wh where are you going? They'll leave, don't worry. Hmm. Shouts over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I like to keep killing people. Uh, the only person close that's not Zathus is the elf on the table. Sort of sprawled out. I want to start. Well, didn't start it, actually. But <laughs> he did by cheating me. He started it. <laughs> nah, I'll just take my guard. everyone. I'll just take my guard. Okay. No one, no one seems inclined to engage with you. Zathus, what are you up to? I'll uh, respond to uh, Antoria's message or whatever and go, all right. I'll stand up from the table, spit in the elf's... Pull my thing down, spit in the elf's face. <laughs> Go, dirty, I saw elf. Face. dirty elf. I told the devil. <laughs> Say dirty elf and follow Antori out. Wow. All right. right I'll it's back out with my sword ready. You all need right. some sunfire teeth. I and everybody. I think, I le I think we've learned all we can. Let's so go back. Like a you too. Mm. Did you get like 12 for that? Did I count two for that? Just count two. Okay. What's the pip total? I'm at 11 pips. Alright. Thank you. I have to wash my hands. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that meant something. Yeah, I thought it meant something happened. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's like, he's going okay. to get the real shit wrong. Yeah, yeah. he's laying it on the table. <laughs> it's now yours. It's time to die. <laughs> <laughs> How many pips do you have? How many pips do you have? Depends. How many fell on the floor where you could eat them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, are you, uh... Yes. <laughs> Alright, all right. It doesn't matter what. Uh, he is doing it. Are I'm, you present? I am present. So, uh, I've had, you know... Later, as you leave the noble woman's estate. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright. wasn't what I was intending. Sure, sure. So, uh, after talking with the fine ladies for a bit, I will mm. head up to the bar, you know, excuse myself, and head up to the bartender. Kind of like, you know, arm on the shoulder, arm, <coughs> elbow... All those nudge, appendage, nudge. Yeah, all Say those appendages more. on the uh, the counter, and uh, order uh, two ales, actually two spiced wines. Ooh. And uh, and as I as he gets to my kind of like exasperated uh, breath, say, oh, rough night tonight. Hmm. This bartender has a much much more convincing, elaborate set of horns stuck to his head. <laughs> <laughs> He also must be burned. Yeah. <laughs> if he ever gets a window. It's Why? the horn thing. I assume it's a demon or something. Been at it. Been working, have you? Oh, the, the job I had today was a, an utter nightmare. And uh, what what line of work is it that you do, sir? Well, uh, are, are you a painter? You keep a secret. <laughs> you. I, I'm a bartender. Of course I can keep a secret. Well, uh, I pick up jobs here or there from some of the nobility. Uh, some some of these folks have 
should we say, um, enemies of sort that they need dispatch of sometimes, and mm. I make that happen. All bad people, though. Well, anyway, <laughs> Too I got, uh, I got this uh -huh. job from this rich old Duncan, something, some, some sort, up, up, Vila a little bit. Anyway, uh, turns out there's a group that's been stealing his paintings. Wants them back, he says, right? So, sir, sir. yeah, so I, I, I say, sure. I think I've heard of that, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, Duncan, now he's, he, I might, he might have been in this bar a couple times. I don't oh, know. perhaps, yes. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking this is an easy snatch and grab sort of thing, you know? Take back what's his, get paid. I think I come on something a lot, a lot worse. This, this, these people had these plans for That's some enough. sort of. Uh -huh. Big event tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, in an arena. Something about the king. And what did maybe? she say? Sorry, what? <clears throat> oh, I mean, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, the, the people <laughs> seem to maybe assassinate the uh -huh. king or something. Right. I don't know. Well, Surprise that happened. Me. Yeah. Yeah, 11 years back. So it would be sure. crazy if it happened again, right? I paid no attention to it, but it just kind of <laughs> right. really struck me as odd. Yeah. I'm glad I got rid of those guys. I really hope there's no one else left of that little cell. Oh, but anyway, we got Duncan. Doug, you got his paintings back. I got paid, and now you're getting my drinks. Sure. Duncan's money. Yeah. Well, anyway, how's your night been? Oh, super boring. You wouldn't be able to. That'd be 10 gold, sir. T <laughs> what? <laughs> Should have stuck to bacon town. <laughs> drinks are only a 10 gold? <laughs> it's a cash bar, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll throw five on the on. I bet. Listen, man, we had a rough day. Uh huh. And all, he cut me a little yes, slack yes. on the price. He takes one of the spice wines and pulls back. <laughs> you know what? I, no. I'll, I will give him the other spice wine. I'm like, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. I don't want it. Are you anymore. sure? It, it sounded like you had a really rough day. Sir. I did have a rough day. But with, with, the, with the king he being killed, assassinated? Yeah, he killed the king. I mean, that's mercy that's, that's <laughs> work, sir. Anyway, I'm going to take my leave. I got a big day tomorrow. All right, well, you know, you know where to find me. Yeah. At the arena tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. Slay, Great. Slaying the beast and winning the trophy. Yes, okay. <laughs> I will uh, take my leave and, and walk out of the bar. He has already stopped paying attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes ago. Are we all Wait. heading back to meet up then? Uh, you, you tell me. Well, you know, on the way back, I'm yeah. gonna try to set another bar yeah, on fire. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> the occasional. I assume that at some point we go into a town that's where, where part of the town where you can find beggars and stuff. I mean, the Veiled Alliance. The Warrens is populated by yeah. beggars. So just so like yes. here or there, I'll, I'll walk up to a beggar, throw him, I guess throughout the night, like a total of one gold pieces. Okay. You know, through you know, various ones. You throw a gold piece and yeah. ten beggars descend on <laughs> Tearing <laughs> each other limb for limb for it. Casually drop like, that yeah. there's a... Uh, <laughs> ca casually Money. drop that. They, I hear that the king is going to be assassinated tomorrow. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so, gold. Hey, okay, so, you start a brawl, you can get your gold back. You learned that. <laughs> I, see, I see how it is. You're playing, you're playing the long game. I got you. They're playing the short yeah, game. You're going the long game, and I'm not in the game. <laughs> We're heading back now. You got it, the most important job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just said you were going to meditate. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I know. I said so that's so not your fault. So it was just a joke. So Antoria look, looks at the other two. I think we found out what we needed to know. It seems the High Templar of the Games has been meeting with uh, the hooded folks down here, and that apparently she stands at the king's right hand during the ceremony. The information we received is probably true, and now we now we know who is hev heavily involved in it, I mean, this High Templar woman. This High Templar woman you speak of, I believe I saw her talking to... Um, Morden Dyer, yeah. Morden Dyer, yeah. Morden, okay, we killed. No, Morden Dyer at the party. I think she might be uh, integral to their plans. It would make sense based on what we learned. Let's return and report. But mm -hmm. one thing, can we not mention that we apparently murdered an entire bars? They came right at me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn dirty elf shouldn't have cheated me. You know, forget it. Let's just go. 
For it. <laughs> just shaking his head. I imagine like the Seinfeld song playing up right at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading back. Hopefully, without running into anyone else, we can murder for. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of people. There's a city murder. full of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but somehow you managed to stay your hand. <laughs> <laughs> we show restraint for once. <laughs> Why stop? Oh, I'm too full of experience. Next time, let's well, go some more people. What's the matter, time. Antoria? They weren't asleep enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn. Literally. No, no, no. That's yeah, what he did. Yeah. And he doesn't know yeah. about that anyway. I know. Ooh. That was out of character. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> just make. <laughs> oh, sorry, but I said. Oh, my God. You're so terrible. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, oh, he killed all these people. <laughs> 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 no, he, he, to, to be fair, he didn't seem that... Literally me- one night ago, he seemed... He <laughs> lit servants of the He men. seemed... Honestly, he seemed almost more embarrassed than anything else. He wasn't really, like, distraught or crying or anything. Oh, uh, part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, All right, you managed to make it back to the Alliance headquarters without murdering Somehow. Anyone or burning anything down. Darn it. You find a giant spider. The day is still young. How we not run into a Templar yet trying to take us down? Or <laughs> Templars are all busy, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Most, most, maybe, most if they even, up decorations. If, yeah. if they even bother coming to Bacon Town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. <laughs> They're probably just free zone. Is everyone back, or is it just the three of us? Yet? I think everyone's back. Yeah. Alright, and Tori gives come a back. brief overview of... Oh. You see a spider in a tree. Hey, come down, we're back. <laughs> you hear a voice in your head. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll All right. have to go to bed. We'll go to bed shortly. We, we managed to verify... No, I'm, go- I'm just well, I'm going to bed. All right. No. <laughs> I suppose you do already know what we learned. We managed to verify some of the information. Apparently the High Templar of the games herself is part of the plot. She's been seen meeting with these hooded folks. Rumalia has uh, stayed up waiting to hear, hear back from you. She chirps in. Oh, Lady Medra. Oh... She, she's in charge of the, the games tomorrow. If anyone was going to set something up uh, uh, to inflict evil upon the king, it'd be, she'd be in a perfect position to do so. And Zethus uh, claims, he saw, or rather says, that he saw her at the party speaking with Morton Dyer in a way that implied a romantic oh. relationship. S- rumor has uh, suggested that the two are involved, yes, although not anymore, I imagine. <coughs> but I, I have to admit, I'm. Um, were you clearing your throat or something? Yeah, yeah oh, I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's something important to say. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, I hate elves. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a little disturbed. The High Templar of the games herself is part of the plot. Mm. Will we even be able to do anything? The timing is just so weird. Because it's been how many years since they overthrew the last... Uh, 11 tomorrow. 11 tomorrow, yeah. Today. And they haven't Today. done anything Today, yes. up to this point until now? Apparently they've been in the city for four or five months. When we have a lich about to invade, this storm lord dude doing stuff with his... Well, yeah, he's to the be one. frank, that lich may be coming after us. Yeah. He's probably coming right. after us and maybe with them, but the right, but timing is convenient. I'm pretty sure the lich is coming after the crown. Yes. I, I don't think that was well, planned by anyone else. But Are maybe his... Maybe, no. Maybe part of I his plan was to acquire the crown and come to Tyre. Maybe those two events just happen to coincide. Good. Perhaps, but the hooded folks <coughs> have been here for four or five months. I mean, it could be a long-ranging plan, to be fair. The Lich said it himself. He had been attempting to get that crown uh, many times, but his henchmen just could not. True. We just happened to fit the bill. True. <coughs> Speaking of the crown, where is the crown kept? I, I asked that to... Uh, 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 Matthias would have put it with... Uh, uh, other items of importance to be uh, protected. I assume it goes without saying, but keep that one as exceptionally well guarded, that particular item. Oh, uh, don't you worry. Well, if the king is not likely to heed a, warn- heed a message we would give him, giving trying to send him one to warn him may only tip our hand to the High Templar. <clears throat> it may be better if we just get in ourselves somehow, but an event like this, how could we get close enough to do anything? <clears throat> oh, well, I'm sorry. I, I keep forgetting that you're outsiders. That's simple. You just have to win the competition. The winner of the <laughs> arena battle is uh, given prizes by the king himself uh, in recognition of their having freed the city all over again. Well, I admit that does sound promising, but there is an obvious problem for at least two of us participating in 
such a competition with <laughs> the eyes of the city upon us. What's oh. that problem? Well, if we start casting spells in the arena with everyone looking at us, it's going to be pretty obvious. That we're extremely powerful. That way, the whole city will know you're really cool dudes. I say we sign up Marvin. <laughs> I'm down for I'm this. definitely Listen, going. I'm definitely participating. Skirting your little natural gifts. I embrace them. You see what I'm getting at, Romalia. Certainly I do. Um, I, I had never participated myself. I had heard rumors, however, when our folk would participate in battles of this sort, that they would attempt to disguise it as psionics. Psionics, mm. of course. Everyone everyone can use psionics. Everyone loves psionics. Mm. They're cool. That should be they possible cool. at the distance we'll be <laughs> operating at. Is it a group competition? It's a grand melee. Um... I, again, I'm not an expert, but there will be many, many uh, heroes uh, attempting to compete. Well, hmm. I already have a name in the arena, and I'll more than likely participate. That's right! Uh, You've already earned a name for yourself. If indeed. You're led by the uh, famous bear. Certainly all the attention will be on him and not on you. And perhaps you could cast... I don't know if you have anything beneficial that you could help me with. Mm -hmm. I have uh, my bark skin, which I've been using in the arena to great success. <laughs> Yeah, Toria, do you know any helpful spells? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> says, the, says the powerful druid who keeps the party alive. I'm afraid I don't know much that would be of use for someone else. Mm. Is this format a group fight or an individual? Sounds individual, but on the other hand, if we're all friends and collaborate, there's nothing saying we have to attack each other just because the rules would allow it. I don't have the rule book in if front of me, but my understanding is that joint victories are allowed. Hmm? What'd you, I'm sorry, what'd you say? I said, I, I don't have the rule book right in front of me, but I believe, uh, from what I've seen in the arena, that joint victories are allowed. Hmm. Hmm. Problem se that seems simple then. We join this melee, wipe out everyone else, de declare a victory for ourselves, and we're the winners. Well, I have another idea for your spells. Can you? <laughs> I have another idea. How to, how to, my, how to my mask spells? How to, your spells? My spells. <laughs> how to mask them? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and Tori has a bored look on his face already, yes. <laughs> well, on, is there any way you can take, like, for instance, you have that staff. Can you make it look as though the staff is casting your spells instead? That way it's a magical item. No, my staff doesn't you. cast spells. It's me. I'm saying so that the audience doesn't get suspicious because there are, there's a whole city full of people who hate spellcasters. Uh, and, and and magical items, Romalia trips in. Oh, really? But I... The magical <laughs> item. Where, where are you from, this. sir? A forest in the middle of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> it explains our, our, much, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. The the Veiled Alliance exists because we are hunted as witches and um, sorcerers. The presence of magic alone will surely bring the Templars down in your head. You'd think I'd never explained that to him before, wouldn't you? <laughs> anyway, L listen. It's very late, but uh, the competition is tomorrow. Um, if you are going to compete, I suggest you get some rest. Agreed. We'll get some rest and head out there and join it. Working together, we should be able to defeat most of the others. I mean, if he was able to become arena champion on his own, the five of us together should <laughs> have can't no really be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, the five of us together should do even better. Do we all, do all of us need to compete here? We should. We all have much to contribute to a combat. And but, one... I mean, like... Molly is saying it's true, and we'll be persecuted for our just ability. Touch your head when you're casting; it'll look like psionics at a distance. I find that difficult to aim. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who's supposedly all powerful. Figure something out. Yes. <laughs> huh? oh. <laughs> how, long, how, long, how long is this arena fight? <laughs> Is it a quick event, or is it a... It sounds like it's just one... A gauntlet, a... Everyone gets thrown in. The last... The people who are willing to say they win together, win together. Is it a day of events, or the final event? It'll be the grand event that caps off the day of events. Okay. Is there a prize for winning other than meeting this king? Oh, certainly. There'll be a... A, a, a purse to, to, the, to the winners. There Magical. always is. Magical items. <laughs> I just went over that. I, yeah, think. I think it, you I don't believe in magic. And we, uh, believe me, if there were magic <laughs> items to be had, I'd, uh, I'd fight myself. We've come back full circle. Not quite getting this, Marvin. All right. 
Let's rest, <laughs> but remember when we fight tomorrow. We need to conserve our resources during this yes. melee. We're going to need them afterwards. <clears throat> Maybe I'll bring a dagger with me. Alright, I guess resty time? Uh, I guess it's me. I guess. Yeah, starting our Marcus, long rest uh, Marcus is already okay. there. There's, so. That's right. He's uh, Varric set aside for you <coughs> upstairs. You guys begin what I assume is a long rest. Oh, yes. Yes. Is this, is this grand melee, like, it's not, like, is it to the death? It's pretty grand. Or is it, like, I best asking, to do... You're asking Romalia this? I'm, well, I'm asleep, so he's, I'm yeah, asking, he's like, asleep. outside of the game. <clears throat> um, so, most gladiatorial battles in Dark Sun are, of course, to the death. Since all of the slaves have been freed and there are no slave gladiators anymore. Usually fights are to submission, to um, wounding, uh, that kind of thing. No no lethality. Except in cases where a beast of some kind is fought. Usually a beast must be killed. And a beast usually has no trouble with killing the other combatants. Mm -hmm. Certainly deaths do happen, but it's no longer the end-all be-all of this is the way that it must end. So I shouldn't spin to win like seven elves in one go. <laughs> Only I mean, the Masia. You still want to put <laughs> on a show. Out. That's fair. <clears throat> uh, are you guys doing anything else in the morning? Or I, uh, do they bet on these at all? Certainly. <laughs> I, there's there's <laughs> no laws against gambling yeah, in this city. Yeah, of course not. Other cities, I, I yes. would like to put some money on on our group. So, where are you doing that? Are you betting with Romalia? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I do have some business with her before we leave, but you okay. can do this. <clears throat> okay. I'm no, sorry, no, I didn't mean to jump ahead. Uh, yeah. Golden Kank, the inn you guys yes. stayed at, is uh, exactly the kind of place to do that sort of thing. Okay. And okay. Um, so are you announcing that there's a group or something like that that you're going to place some money on? Or how are you going to um, do this? I will say that I will be amongst the winners. Oh, so you're betting on yourself. Yes. That is weird. <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> weird. Why is it, is it weird that, that I'm saying that? That's, that's like insider. That. You're not allowed to do that usually. They won't. Well, At the very bad. least, it gets you made fun of a lot. No, right. I mean, that's like saying, I'm in the World Series, I bet we're going to win, so... <laughs> Wait a minute. So I think that's actually frowned upon. Yeah, yeah. 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 they threw some dude out of the Hall of Fame for that, didn't they? Upon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's extra frowned upon. Yeah. It's double so, frowny sauce. I think that most of, most of the folks that you're taking bets with at an establishment like this are not themselves the gladiators. Uh -huh. Why don't you bet on me? Okay, I, or you can I bet on the bear. The bear. I, bear. I, will like bet he's, on, I feel like he's going to be the favorite. You won't get much for betting on the bear. It's like, ah, hey, everyone's betting on the bear. Enjoy your copper yeah, later today. Yeah, it's are, true. Is this like just a one to one <laughs> thing, or is there different odds? There's, yeah, there are odds. Uh, there are odds. I want to pick the group, the person that has the least odds in our group. Should probably uh. Xanthus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised you didn't say me, but yeah, no, really, I thought it would be Antori for sure. Rumor okay, spread so of a you're saying wizards burning a, everyone to death. A dark hooded it's, stranger, it's, it's I suppose, because no one knows who Zathus is. You're saying <laughs> yeah, a dark hooded stranger. Yeah. A dark hooded stranger, and uh, who you know is going to be competing, and you think that he's yeah. going to win. Yes. And someone says, "I'll take you up on that." Okay, and I will put two hundred gold down. Right. Two hundred gold has been put down. Okay. He's gonna leave town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a dive. After five, <laughs> <laughs> and then five, 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 five <laughs> uh, what were you gonna do, Antorial? Uh, Antorial. Uh, Jokes on him, and we lose. Ask for my <laughs> Look, this is pretty important to the defense of the city, and we did just open up your mm -hmm. stores to you. Is there anything you can give us or provide to us that might help us win this? Mm. She seems to have anticipated your question. Pull, uh, hands over. A a satchel. Let's see. Inside, you find five uh, mango sized and shaped fruits. Oh! Interesting. Each of which is the equivalent of a potion of healing. Naughty, naughty. I know those. Yeah. Okay. He passes, the, he distributes one to every each party member. You can just slip it into my inventory. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not even suggestive of Yeah, really? I had to. You can just slip that into my. Uh... I was going to say Zach, but that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks, uh, Lewis. Oh shit! I forgot to give my pep talk. That's not. Well, we still have time. No, I'm yeah, yeah. not even. Uh, if you guys have gone uh, different ways in order to accommodate errands, I assume you're going to meet outside the, uh, yeah. the arena. That's Wait, is it already next day? 
It's the next one. Yeah, we rested. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was, oh, and so someone would have been available to answer your question about Pikes to the Down. <clears throat> yes. Just a random friend on the street. Um, now that it's actually day, there's more of a festival atmosphere in the streets. Very People are out back. celebrating. No, All I the decorations are up. People are it overwrites playing music and dancing in back. the streets, celebrating their freedom. Not worth it. Though. Yay. For free. Yes. <laughs> they sound so Yay. happy. No, they have jobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, uh, and Toria, thanks, thanks for, you know, heads out to... Good luck. Thank you. Uh, did anyone else want to take care of any business before you arrive at the arena? Well, I'm casting mage armor, but I always do that. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to our, our companions. All right. Um, I would like to... I, I think when we... Hang on, sorry. Uh, when we did our, um, like, ten days or whatever, and I got, like, components and stuff like that to, for my Poisoner's yes. Kit... Or whatever. How much? How long would it take for me to like whip up a batch of that? A little bit of this morning doing that. Okay, I would like to do that. Okay. And uh, for the grand melee or whatever, like. Uh, Are you applying it to your weapon? Apply it to my weapon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you applying a particular type of poison? I didn't know there was different types. What type, poison. What type would you like to apply? Instant. The killy type. <laughs> <laughs> killy type. It makes uh, it more killy of a dagger. <laughs> uh, maybe like a paralyze. Something okay. that does like a paralysis. So or give me a um, what's an appropriate check type for that? Poison. Poison check. <laughs> I, I am a proficient in my poisoner's kit. Mm, uh, plus, I guess a plus two proficiency Na bonus. Medicine nature. Just out of curiosity, how large is the arena? Do you think? It's pretty big. <laughs> get, like, maybe it's you know, bigger than okay. a bear. <laughs> All right. Are you trying to determine what spells to take? Uh, yeah. Uh, you've never been in a city before, so it's different. It, the size of it's, uh... Well, I've been in the arena before. You have been in the arena before, excuse <laughs> me. Um, mm. it's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> it might be, like, 30 squares by 15 squares. Okay. <laughs> it might. It might be. All right, then. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> Certainly not bigger than that. Okay. I promise And I have that. to look up two spots. Um... Say this, why don't you give me a... Do you have medicine? I don't have medicine. Do you I actually have do. 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 Slide of hand. That means I can't do two Slide of hand might work. I think this you is what poisons usually fall to burn, though, if you cast it before. Um, I am going to, but... Yeah. I can't do uh, Well, I can't find anything else more oh, appropriate, absolutely. so certainly. Let's do um, sleight of hand. Okay, so we've got plus four sleight of hand. Sure do I add my proficiency no, bonus? Yes, you do. 16 AC. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so Mine's plus would give you 13 four plus, plus your dex. Okay, then yeah, you need that. Yeah. Okay. This gives me 16 flat and the other stuff stacks on top of it. Yeah. So the cloak I have makes it 17 AC. Yeah. Uh, 18. Okay, pretty good. The other thing too. So you whip up a no, batch no, no, no. and uh, have another for another application. I don't think so other stuff. It's a minimum. Okay. Um, Can't be less than And you want to make some okay. paralyzing yeah. agents? Yeah. Okay, so whenever you score a hit like that, let me know and we'll go oh, through and try and figure out if they get paralyzed. Okay. Barrett, did you need anything from me for your preparations? All I was curious as to was the side of the arena, but you kind of told me that, so. Okay, then I believe Marvent was going to begin some sort of a uh, thing. Mm -hmm. How well? Uh, a group group huddle. All right. I'll actually, yeah, yeah. We'll actually do that. All right. So, uh, gladiators and combatants, I salute you, all of you. I think we we have come a long way, and we definitely have what it takes to win this. So much that I have invested my entire fortune, which uh, admittedly is not very much, on our dear friend Zathus. Zathus, I have complete and utter confidence in your ability to win with our help. <laughs> you almost, you almost had me. <laughs> you almost had me. You gotta keep going on your toes. <laughs> And well, you guys get all uh, nine temporary hit points. Woo. And we agree it's going to be a group victory. We're not going to be fighting, <laughs> no, we're going to be fighting no. each other. No. So that way we still have some stamina left yeah, if, if something we, happens afterwards. We would never be able to deal with what will come afterwards if we were fighting each other as well. Even Zephus knows that that is not smart. Then if we get down to it, <laughs> to we're the last one standing. I'll, we just, uh, the risk shift to reward out and is announce to the arena that we, great. we have decided to win together. One thing I should know. Having been inspired 
Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna say to Mike, one thing I should note. The small fireball I summon that runs around, runs about on its own. I think that could make short work of this if we can keep it up. But people may figure out where it's coming from and come for me in large numbers. Mm. Let's try I have spells that can deal with large numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna try and tangle everyone. Holy That's what shit! I was <laughs> Oh, but oh, oh, nice. no. the problem with entangle is that it doesn't discriminate. The oh, best boy. props. <laughs> oh, and the music too. Yeah. 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 It's getting faster and everything. Like, oh, there's wow. more. Holy oh, crap! Oh, no one's on the busy, other side busy of the beaver. Nobody can see oh, that on the stream. <laughs> hey, yeah. from a can we skills. move this? Damn. This way. This is leveled up a bit. <laughs> oh, oh no, my dice. Yeah, okay, step up your game. Sorry, sorry, I was trying to. Uh, okay, yeah. I think I got it. <laughs> All right. Well, not, not one of my highest side. Um. Well, I want Levis to see more than I want the stream to be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Around the track, it's Iron Horse. Iron Horse coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's a massive crowd already, and there's already all kinds of uh, acts going on in the midst of the arena. Jugglers and musicians and uh, uh, magicians of sorts, not actual magic users, just folks doing tricks for the delight of the crowd. <laughs> this sort of that sort of thing isn't really a, doesn't inspire witch hunts and witchings. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's see <clears throat> And uh, your uh, fame as the the bear uh, pulls you guys up to the, the front of the signups. Um, there's folks signing up for smaller bouts and that sort of thing, but you're fast tracked to the uh, the main event. <clears throat> you guys doing anything uh, behind the scenes as you uh, wait for the the battle? Stretching. Calisthenics. That's good. That's good. You want to stay limber. I'll just stretch my jaw up and down. <laughs> bear, bear aesthetics. And uh, before it's too much longer, here, Kirby, I think that's Sexy yours. Nurse. Oh, I'll definitely be needing that guy today. <laughs> yeah. Do I get, Sexy nurse. Here's, here's a, a bear that I think is yours. Yeah. And... <laughs> and uh, before too much longer, the morning shuffles past, and the king makes his appearance. He's sure enough up on the deck of the mighty uh, multicolored ziggurat that Kalak had been building. There's a. <laughs> <laughs> Um, box there, and there's uh, half giant guards, and there's elaborately dressed Templars, and um, the king himself, to the, in the first, makes his appearance. And his voice seems to reach the ears of everyone in the arena, regardless of its massive size. Everyone cheers and cheers. Everyone's so glad that he's not the other guy who was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and he I says, My people! <laughs> Welcome to the 11th anniversary of the games. I, your mighty king, am delighted to bring you the main event, celebrating the assassination of Kalak the Terrible. <laughs> Everyone cheers. King, 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 king nasally. <laughs> I, I want to look at Antoria and kind of questionly say magic. Possibly. I hardly have time to check it out. <clears throat> For this year's bout to celebrate the renowned assassination, we bring you a metaphor of sorts. A massive beast representing the tyrant Kalak. A behemoth from the far-off ringing mountains. And uh, this is the signal for you and the other gladiators to begin making your way into the arena, as has been told to you by the foreman. Bark skin up, bear up. 
the mini. Oh, I, don't know. I don't know where we want to go. Uh, so there's a couple of. Why is from your grave? Why is from your grave? In addition, there are nearly ten other gladiators uh, seem to have made it to this uh, this stage of the battle. Continue filling that in. And everyone cheers. They s are you in bear form already? Oh yes. Well, there's cheer for all kinds of favorite gladiators, but you're included certainly. And uh, <clears throat> this is not appropriate music for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many? Uh, how many Spiritual other dungeon theme? Yeah, how many people also have champion wreaths? Are you wearing your wreath? That's weird. It's like withered. Is it? <laughs> Covered in blood. You live in a desert world. It's only been a couple days, hasn't it's, it? You live in a desert world. It's like things that came from the dollar store and it's made of plastic or something. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm a druid, maybe I can... Uh... You totally did. You turned into a spider and burned down a house. <laughs> burned down another house. Burned down a reef. Anyway, everyone's eyes uh, uh, depart from you as a platform raises up in the center of the arena. Ooh. And it appears to be... A great and mighty uh, stairway leading up to a um, flat surface. And on that surface is indeed a behemoth oh my God. from the Ringing Mountains. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow. Mine is an evil laugh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> His feet are bound up in uh, chains at the moment. And oddly enough, there's... There, there appears to be a horn jutting out of his head. And upon closer inspection, it's... I mean, not closer inspection. You're not getting anywhere close to that thing. <laughs> it appears to be maybe a spear or something like that that's been latched onto its forehead. All right. Tithian continues. Behold the heartwood spear that slayed the mighty Kalak. The first gladiator to slay the beast and lay hands upon... The, top, the spear, and withhold it from all challengers, shall be the victor. Let the games begin! The crowd roars. Ooh, interesting. Just a moment, and I'll get you some more competitors on the field. You guys feel free to, you know, scheme, scheme. Seems like a couple of the groups of gladiators are going. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Believe me. It violates about every rule of Mage Hand to attempt, attempt that. It's not unattended. It's way would out you, of range. Kirby, would you put yeah. that down a little bit closer to you? Spread these out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hmm. Didn't say anything about killing other competitors. So that there's no are these else to kind of generic uh, okay, gladiators or are um, meat shields? Yeah, that one of those kind of looks like, like you were Rahad, saying they were, uh, <laughs> they're, they're, Does this one kind of look like Ravad? No. That's <laughs> no, not. that's a. The, so these are all specifically chosen bits of art. That's a half giant uh, yeah. lady holding a mighty war hammer. And there's a, a pair of dwarf twins. And there's a, a masked uh, fellow holding a pair of maces. And there's another masked man with a buckler and a short sword. And a man with two short swords. And, and oh my goodness, is that. Oh. <clears throat> where where is it? Come on. Come on. It's nothing. No, nope, it totally is. It's her. someone's girlfriend. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course. I knew you'd do this. To I me. knew. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it was coming, right? I mean, the arena gladiator. Yeah. She, she had to show up. She's holding a massive war pick. <laughs> Blows you a kiss from her end of the arena. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Changes a little bit closer. <laughs> I like this so, music because I'm like staring into her eyes. <laughs> like, that was <laughs> planned. That yeah. was absolutely planned. <laughs> that music was planned. Yep. Um, while we're setting up, uh, if we almost look up, done now. If we look up at the stands where the king's at, are there any? Oddly hooded figures. Is that Harold of Storms up there with him? Give me a perception check. <laughs> sure. He's just floating up there, like, <laughs> <laughs> like right up here, like with a huge lightning so, bolt. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a knife at the king's throat. He's just, oh, damn it, he just kind of looks at you. He's like, nods, like, what's up? <laughs> um, where is my? There it is. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. You spot High Templar uh, Medra, uh, High Templar of the Games. Who I assume has been described to you by the one person that. Uh, well, maybe maybe that's not a safe assumption. No, no that was that that was very forthcoming with that. Right. Yeah, once I mentioned it, especially during the 
close to tavern slaughter meetup. Like, oh, yeah. I'd assume she'd be up there with him. Yeah, she yeah, is no, there. There are all... a couple other folk uh, dressed in high Templar rank garb. There's also a couple of uh, half giant guards, uh, usually pretty pretty close at hand when Templars are afoot. Would have been a good idea before we left to ask Romalia how the high Templars are <laughs> and this whole you know hierarchy. If they're with the king, or if they're viable, if they're trustable. We know one isn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> a couple of... Because uh, if she convinces all of them in on the same plan, it's she has, a lot harder to save She them. has, she has. We'll deal with it. Yep. A couple of loosely garbed uh, servants sort of duck, duck a little bit closer to the, the behemoth and unclasp its bracers, and one of them scampers and scurries away, and the other one <laughs> gets... <laughs> bitten in half by the mighty beast. The crowd goes wild. Yeah, yes. Of course. Blood. Yeah. Uh, why doesn't everyone go ahead and give me an initiative check? Oh. And a music change. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was good music. Natural one. Natural one. Oh, goes hey, better than my attacks. What was a Dex? Yeah, just Dex if you don't have a bonus. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> Bear. Uh, Bear. So who goes first between the two of you? Oh, I'm you a said good Same thing. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't mean same thing. I meant same then why thing. did you say same thing? <laughs> for, I was talking just about... say a number for... <laughs> 13. Yeah, I don't want to hear results uh, yeah. that aren't what your results are. Yeah. Okay. So what did you the get? bear was the same 13, as my skin. You said. 13. 13. Antoria. 15. Marvin. 18. Zathus. 15. I'm going to assume that you go ahead of Antoria. Marcus is over there. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm a plus 18. 18. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah I, 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 I hope you have me. <laughs> <next therapy. laughs> I hope so too. I don't know. <laughs> be a little, be a little worried, worried. You are pretty you sneaky or whatever, stealthy. Yeah. A lot of weird attributes for a mage, but yes, not, <laughs> not super dex. That one, yeah, that one's not it. <laughs> not yet. The Rex. The Rex. There, and then there's going to be two groups of gladiators. There. Is this all the gladiators, or they're like assumed to be more this is like, all of them those okay. are actual combatants okay. there's no chump so chump gladiators not in, not in a fight of this level of prestige no. okay all right so marvin you're up first okay. <clears throat> i'm trying to get the arena to not be on your head okay <laughs> um i'm gonna cast firebolt are you uh, making any attempts to disguise it no Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's fine. Good thing we're I, all on the same page before we start this fight. I I rolled to remember, <laughs> and I didn't. So. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, given what I know of your character, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing. Uh -huh. I don't think that even if you remember it, you would honestly care. Yeah, and, yeah. and Toria gave him gave him the suggestion, kind of shrugging. He's like, he's not going to do it. So what's the difference? He's kind of given up on that. Okay, angle. so yeah. the arena lights on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Uh, we win. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I'm going to use my uh, tides of chaos if I could. Yes. And what what are you aiming at anyway? Uh, so is this my is this my lady friend? He wants me it to is. win. Really I'm gonna is. hit the person next to him. Okay. Next to her. Young, eager looking man trying to trying to put on his fiercest face. Nineteen. Nineteen's gonna hit. Okay. It's fire bolted in his fiercest face. Uh four points of fire damage. Ah! He's patting out his hair. Uh she doesn't seem impressed. I'm going to walk over here and stand right there. She charges you. Yeah. <laughs> she slaps you in the face with her sword. <laughs> in her butt. Oh, oh, what? What? <laughs> what? 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 Is that it? Oh yes. Zathus. 
You throw uh, your own deck. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Strategically, I think. Strategically, I think I'll draw my short bow. Okay. And uh, I guess take a couple steps out over here. And saw that he lit. Which one is it? Which one did you light on fire? Yeah, that one right there. Whatever they that he attacked that one. I'm gonna follow suit and shoot a lob <laughs> and arrow okay. at that guy. Uh, is this behemoth like four by four? One last question. Well, let me double check that. What's your question? Uh, were there any other arena participants that signed up as a group? Do you, can you sign up as a group? Like, you, is that you don't sign up as a group? You just happen to not be killing each other. Yeah, right? we don't know. Is the okay. answer? Yeah. Well, there was the betting pool stuff. I didn't know if there were. There's like... a pair of identical dwarves that are sitting yeah. next to each other. Okay. <laughs> there, there seem to be at least two groups. I don't know what this fellow over here by himself is all about, but Storm Age. <laughs> uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, that will hit. As a matter of fact. All right. Um, uh, but I'll just. Oh, of course. Put a note where it is. It is 4x4. Four four. Damn! That's a big creature. Yeah. It's a big ones. Big ones. Big ones. Oh, this is a T Rex. So, no. Wait, it's only a normal T Rex and not a dire T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Dear Lord. Or a Once you're in the forest. I, I, I become one of those eventually. A dire T Rex? B well, both, I guess, actually. No, t even a normal T Rex is an HD7. I don't think you ever get that high. Oh, dire? Uh, yeah, the, no, a normal one is even 7, I think. It's on the seven. list of people saying things they use for druid forms. Oh, is it for druid forms or probably? Give us an image. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. Hey, Tori, what are you doing? Tori is looking. Uh, Tori gestures, sneak but attack. is holding his, holding his fingers to his head a bit while he does it in a sleight of hand check. He's faking! I got a question. Uh, I think I can <laughs> sneak attack right here because uh, I can use my assassinate to get advantage on attack roll on anybody that hasn't uh, taken a turn in combat. Yep. And sneak attack says. Uh, if you have advantage, it works. Yeah. I have advantage on my yep. attack level. Okay. Yeah, right. sure. I don't want to deal with extra damage. That's fine. I think, uh, I think you've done that before. So yeah, fine. eight. All right. All right. Ah! I did... Takes it in the shoulder. I got a 13 on the sleight of hand check to disguise it as psionics. Very well. And a psionic uh, ball of fire appears about here. <laughs> It says a big flashy light of psionics, psionics, psionics. It's pink. <laughs> <laughs> psionics are pink, like Psylocke's. Five, <laughs> six, he moves over here, and only after he moves over here does the fireball actually ram this way and crash into the beast. Uh, DC 14 dex save. Alright. We got some dex. No, no, I don't. Uh, four or two. It seems unfazed. Looks aside to uh, uh, Marvin. This thing might take a while. Uh, it is going. Uh, um, it is going to stomp straight towards the bear oh boy. and take a bite. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Natural 20! Yes! <laughs> oh, bring it on! Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh like, my god. The bear, oh, the bear no. is the sandwich now. So, Could someone so please stop I, that thing? I'm so excited. So glad I what? finally uh, move it towards uh, oh, yeah, I moved the T-Rex. Oh. Stomp so that thing. They said stop uh, it. No. Like, <laughs> stop what? What's it's gone it? crazy. <laughs> I finally fixed my AC problems. Uh. <laughs> Natural 20. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a lot of dice. How many yeah. rolls is it? Bring it. 20 points of damage. I think it's going to be a lot worse than 40. Yeah, I yeah, know. If you're lucky. I feel like you take 51 points of damage. <laughs> oh my god! Damn! You're I'm not a bear anymore. You are also grappled. <laughs> oh my god. He's In his human. teeth. Uh, the crowd goes, oh. 51, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not very hurt. Yet. <laughs> you are in the jaws of Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I think you have enough problems. Uh, it's hard to tell. He's still adjacent to the fireball since he's so freaking big. How big um, was he? Yeah, right, totally. I, okay, then uh, another DC. Wait, wait, wait. He, I think he's one square out of it. 
Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Actually, just no. He's two squares. Well, out of it. if he's four, if he's no, large, he's got. He's I guess got, I'm out of yeah, range, right? Yeah, he's huge. He's yeah. got reach. Yeah, reach. He's one square away. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's a little hard to tell where he was. But that's all right. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. I was busy eating a bear. Yeah. Yeah. You gave me this temp HP. <laughs> uh, it's your turn, as a matter of fact. Um, uh, so you're being grappled. You can make an escape attempt. Bonus action. Bear form. Okay. So <laughs> the bear again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well. Um, that'll give you a bonus to trying to escape. Uh, T-Rex's jaws are still Strength very check? Strong. Yes. You good at that? Are you better than a T-Rex? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14. Mm, you squirm and struggle, but you are still seized in his jaws. <clears throat> what else can I do? Is that it? Uh, I Five. think that's it. If you're grappled, I just print out. This is a long book. <clears throat> oh, I need to do my concentration check, too. I don't know, 51 damage, it's going to be pretty high. It's DC 25. What is your concentration for? Uh, to maintain bark skin. Oh! Which on a 51 damage attack, I think it's a 25 DC. I don't think you have any chance to pass it even without a grapple magic. creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed, so you can still attack. Okay. What uh, is, uh... Concentration's a con save at DC 25. You, well, you might roll a natural 20. You might. It happens. Nope. nope. <laughs> I rolled a natural down. seven. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, bite, bite the roof of its mouth. Yes, uh -huh. I will bite and claw it. I might as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, dark is the bite. Bite is the claw. Bite's gonna miss for sure, but the claw might hit. Does a eighteen hit? It will. All right. I will flail at it. <laughs> For 10 damage. Alright. Slashing damage. <laughs> Flinches. Uh, so this group of gladiators, um, these two are gonna mix it up with this guy over Boy. here. They go to it. This one closes in but doesn't attack. This one uh, closes in and uh, throws a set of daggers at the beast, but they bounce off of its hide. Um, over here, the Lady Maul takes a swing and takes the head off of the poor guy, wrestling to get an arrow out of his uh, <laughs> shoulder. Wow. His head just completely collapses and he falls to the ground. Uh, and then the guy with the mask and the buckler is going to wander over this way. Uh, and Marcus, it'll be your turn. <clears throat> I'm gonna I see the Saram and take a slash at uh, Whirlwind, the, Whirlwind giant the bear beast. and the T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, thing, that thing's big. What should be proud? Do me proud. Let's see. Um, doesn't look like an evil doer. I'm not gonna worry. About it's just an animal. It doesn't know any better. It looks evil. Okay. This animal is halting our progress on slaying evil doers. Uh. Make a convincing argument. Oh, 19, which is a crit. Yeah. Um. That's, a, that's an actual crit or a crit rate? It's a crit. Uh, I've improved critical, so 19 or 20s are crits. Oh. Nice. Crits are good. I mean, oh, uh, Antori, give me a perception check. Oh, perception check. All right. Uh, natural 20. Oh. You lock eyes with uh, Lady Medra. High oh, Templar of the game. She's yeah. staring right at you. Hmm. I nod she, briefly. She made a natural 20 to spot some spell casting. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled some 20s. <laughs> but that's yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I did roll again. <laughs> Alright, right, let's see. What do you got? Let's see. Alright. Let's see. Marty, you're up next. 8, 13, 18, 19. 23, uh, 24. Oh, plus one. 24 plus one. 25. 25? Wow. Uh, describe your attack. Uh, well, assuming it's tall enough. It's not dead. You're taking a good chunk out of it. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, is it actually a beast like this? Yeah, so, absolutely. Okay, so I basically it's am like... It's just like that, except with a bear in its mouth and a weird <laughs> unicorn horn. <laughs> it is very clearly not a magical artifact. Well, 
Presumably I can really only get a solid hit on like its leg. Yes. So I'm just gonna pretend like it's a two. Well, you, but you're also very tall, Jump slash. so you can get like up into its thigh. Oh, okay. Well then if it's like kind of above me, I'm just gonna like upward <laughs> thrust straight up like okay. into its chest region. <laughs> Are you just leaving it there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's stuck it stuck in him, then I'm just gonna hang. I guess. It seems but to be a good weapon I can storage pull uh, it out. device. <laughs> it's already got a spear in it. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Set some daggers. Pretty good. You do a big chunk of damage. Uh, Marvin, your turn. Say this. You're next. So, is it possible to draw where this character is standing, or can we move him on with the platform? It's right there. Like the. He I takes mean, up four spaces. Yeah, it's four by four. So, okay, yeah. so he's technically there. I would, yeah. I'm gonna. You can move oh. through some of his spaces because of how he's sure. situated. Yeah. All right. This this was for effect for for bear being. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Don't worry, I already blew that. <laughs> the exact I already same blew that. I rolled the exact same number. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I will cast cloak of daggers, making no effort to or even <laughs> care about. Do you uh, still have your cloak of daggers, Standy? Thing. Mm-hmm. Did we ever have one? We I did. Made one. We I did. seem to make one every oh, other session. Oh, I don't think I. We drew a little dagger on it. Yeah. Uh, but do you want me to roll for wild magic? Yes. Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Yes. All right. It, well, would you draw uh, some tiny daggers on that? Oh, I sure. So I, I, I oh, do get to regenerate my tides of chaos. Tiny daggers. One pip for that. Hold me closer, trip. tiny yes. dagger. Is that twelve? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you almost tra- uh, finished your transformation into Arthas. You just find a dwarf yes! to kill. Wait, that's right. That's how it starts. It's a little, it's a little hot though. Yeah, true. Well, it's dark. Oh my world. god. Where are we gonna find tonight? What'd you get? More Modrons? <laughs> just fill the arena with Modrons? No, more, this more is blue. even better than that. <laughs> oh man, this is the perfect place for this to happen. What's going on? Roll on this table at the start of each of your turns for the next minute, ignoring this result of subsequent rolls. What? <laughs> That's fantastic. Like, I was oh just like God. freaking the fuck out. All right. Uh, we need right. to set up like wild magic music that's just like rainbow. <laughs> <rotors>. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so that's pretty much the duration of this combat. Probably. Right? Ten rounds. Uh, I don't know. This could go more than ten. This well, is... you know, I would hope that the grand battle or arena fight lasts more than a minute, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, Me- so I actually minute. will keep track of. Uh, do we have um? The, uh, Cloak of Daggers thing? Oh, we got... We're making... We're oh, you're ma- oh, you're making it. Okay. Yeah, they're just... Good enough. There we go. Yeah. Make we need more. a stand for it, though. Do we have yeah, one? We can just put it under him, because yeah, he's going to be moving around so much, and it's probably in his space yeah. anyway. There we go. <clears throat> Daggers nipping. Oh, it doesn't start... It's not until he enters his turn. <clears throat> right. So, yeah. I'll wait. Uh, and that's it for me. Okay, Zathus. Okay. Zarya, you're next. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put away my, uh... A short bow and pull out my masterwork uh, short sword that has the paralyzing poison. We didn't notice that oh, on actually, it before. Yeah. She's gonna. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, go after. <laughs> You're like a Roman beast candle here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a twenty-one. Twenty-one hit. Nah, that's not gonna do it. I miss. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I'm gonna disengage. Do a bonus bonus action. So, so. All right, Intoria. Right. Not get T-Rex bitten in half. The, fire, <laughs> the fireball moves and rams the T Rex from behind and to the right, getting very close to him. Okay. Up the butt. Yeah. Uh, DC 14 dex save. He seems distracted. Uh, seven or three. All right. And Antoria will make a brief gesture that he tries to disguise his psionics. He rolls a reasonable 18, and then he actually does the fireball. Which, Ooh. natural oh! 20s! Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. This is the crit arena. Yeah. We're bringing it all out. Alright. Uh. You're superior. Total damage is 7. I'm <laughs> not a crit, but. I'm very much so in trouble. Alright. Okay, it's going next. Um, oh, and I'll move a little further away. So, Lobos, it's yeah. going to bring its head swatting down at you, trying to club you with the massive bear. I'm going to attack you. I'm doing that. Because <laughs> I got Sentinel. <laughs> How did that work? <laughs> <I know. laughs> you can't move! <laughs> you didn't have to move. Yeah, <laughs> He's not moving. Yeah. yeah. 
Or you're, yeah. in, you're still in range, right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm going oh, yeah, yeah. a reaction attack. Okay. Right? Yeah. If I hadn't rolled under there, but it's not a great roll anyway. Uh, does a 14 hit? It absolutely hits. Um, you should finish one cookie before getting another. Bad.